Hello, people. This is our second day in Vietnam, and today I'm going to show you how to have the most authentic trip in Vietnam. So I was talking with the owner of the Airbnb, and then I asked him whether like he has something to recommend us to discover around this area, and then he told us something. He told us a company, which is One Trip. This company is actually founded by a bunch of young people who have strong passion about the cities they are living in. So basically, this tour you can hop it on on their motorcycle, and then they will take you around the city, and then bring you to the most authentic restaurants and most famous place. To visit, eventually you guys will become friends. So today, me and we actually book one of the tours. So later on, two guys are going to come and pick us up by motorcycle, and we're so excited for that. And let's check it out, people. Taking videos, oh. like I'm, I'm taking videos of how do Vietnamese ride their motorcycle. Oh. Like, how come it doesn't only have like one side of the, wood, wood, wood. one side of the 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 what the the lamp? mirror? Yeah, oh, like because um, we go up on the right side and we go down on the left side. So oh. when when we change the land, we we change we go on the left. So uh -huh. we only need the left mirror the most. Okay. <laughs> so because the right mirror mirror is hard to manage, you know, like. Uh -huh. when, when you get into the traffic jam, it's, uh -huh. it's better for you to just only have one mirror. Oh, yeah, you can you can manage your motorbike better. Hi guys, uh -huh. I'm Vietnamese. Uh -huh. Yeah, my name is Tom. T A M. Yeah, and yeah. he did a lot of great introduction about the cities, about the representing buildings and stuff. And actually, Tom actually he just came back from Okinawa. Mm -hmm. I just went the trip in Okinawa, and he lived right next to the the place I, I live, and which is crazy. And he met a lot of Taiwanese there. So, what do you think about Taiwan? Oh, I think uh, Taiwanese is really open-minded. Open-minded, okay. They speak like, very good and actually they speak Chinese. Uh, no, it's not Chinese, they speak Japanese, it's very good. And then he reminded me something like the things to be careful when you are visiting Vietnam. So first, watch out your phone. Watch out your phone because... Because? Some guy was stolen your phone. Some guy will like snap your phone while like you record. So like, keep in mind to make sure, like, put your eyes on your phone yeah. and your camera and stuff. And let's keep on moving for the tour. Yeah. See, See you guys. Is prostitution illegal here? No. 
it's illegal. It's illegal. It's illegal. Yeah. Oh. But like on the internet, on the internet, people like another reason why people want to travel is because of the cheap prostitution. Yes, of course. It's Yeah, it's it's illegal. Yeah, but it's cheap to get one. Temple, and actually, Tim just told me a lot of stories in this temple, and a lot of things is the same as Taiwan actually. And I heard a lot of great stories, and it's actually I can really relate to it because I grew up in Taiwan. We have a lot of Chinese culture as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Hello, people. This is this is the really good air coffee shop that these people took take took us to, and this is will will be the end of the tour. <laughs> and our friends here really did a great job on touring, guys. We had really good experiences, and we know more things about Vietnam. I really we are really happy about it. So maybe this is the end of video. Yeah. And thank you again. Tree and Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you and see you guys next time. Bye bye!